Hey y'all, my name is C. Today I'm going to be doing the anti-TBR tag. So I'm going to link the original creator of this tag as well as the questions down below. And let's go ahead and get started. This tag is all about the books that I don't want to read. So question number one is, what is a popular book that you just have no interest in reading? For me, that book is actually going to be a series and that series is the Grisha trilogy by Leigh Bardugo. Um, I read Six of Crows a few months ago. I liked it. I thought it was fine. I think I gave it a higher rating than I would have, honestly, just because of like the hype around it. Um, I just, it didn't super connect with me. I don't really have a drive, like after a few months of having read the first one, I don't really have a drive to pick up the second in the series. And so I don't really care about reading the Grisha trilogy, which I've already heard people like a lot less then Six of Crows. Um, but yeah, the Grisha trilogy for this one. Question number two is, what is a classic book or author that you just don't want to read? Honestly, I'm not great about reading classics. I just don't have a ton of drive to read classics. It's not something that super interests me. I have like a couple of classics back here. I haven't read any of them. It's just not really what I'm into. Um, but if I had to pick like a specific author, not really interested in reading Jane Austen, which like, I feel bad about, but the kinds of stories that I've heard that she writes aren't things that I normally gravitate towards. Um, I've heard they're pretty dense. So for me right now, Jane Austen. Question number three is, who is a problematic author that you do not want to read anything from? JK Rowling. I've read th the first one. Um, I, I read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I didn't love it, honestly. I read it when I was like 13, even then I was like, eh. I never continued on with it. And after all of the horrifically transphobic things that JK Rowling has said recently, as well as the racist things that she has said, and the generally just problematic, inconsiderate, disrespectful things that she said, I have no interest in reading anything from her. I just don't. Question number four is, who's an author that you've just, you've read a few times, but you're just not into them. Like, you're just not gonna read from them. Honestly, this was kind of a weird question for me. I feel like I don't always, like, the only author I can think that I'm like, ooh, if they're coming out with a new book, I for sure wanna read it, is Grady Hendrix, just because I've read, everything I've read from him, I've really enjoyed. Um, but besides that, I don't really have any authors that I'm like, ooh, I wanna give you a second chance. I'm normally focused on just, like, story. So, like, if an author publishes a book that I'm not interested in the story in, I'm probably not going to read it. If an author that I read a book from previously that I didn't enjoy releases a book that I might enjoy, I'll pick that up. Honestly, like, unless an author is just problematic, I am not going to steer away from reading a certain author. Question number five is, what is a genre you just have no interest in reading from? This is also a weird question for me. I feel like I try to, like, branch out from what I normally read in terms of genre. I'm trying to, like, expand my horizons with that. Um, but I can tell you the genre that I reach for, at least out of everything, is historical fiction. Um, if it is just historical fiction, there's no, like, any fantasy elements at all. I'm just, it's, it's not something I'm into. I've tried a few times. Haven't found anything I'm super into. Um, but, yeah, historical fiction just doesn't do it for me. Question number six is, what is a book that you bought, but you'll probably just never end up reading it? For me... That book is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. Um, I got this book when the hype like first started around it um, a few years ago. I started reading it. I got, do I even have a, yeah, I have a bookmark in here actually. I got to page 30 and just, um, I just wasn't into it. It, I don't know, it just didn't do it for me. Nothing about it like grasped me, captured me. So I ended up putting it down years ago. Um, I am currently reading through A Court of Thorns and Roses um which I've been loving like I'm really into that series I'm just I started reading this one I'm not super into it I've heard people be like no, no no it gets really good you just have to like give it a few books and then it doesn't get as good anymore and I'm like okay that like that's a lot of big books um for from what I've heard not a whole lot of payoff so I'm probably never end gonna end up actually reading this question number seven is what is a series that you just don't have any interest in reading or a series that you started reading and DNF'd for me, a series that I DNF'd was the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series by Ransom Riggs. Um, I read the first three and I liked them a lot. Um, 
I didn't realize they were still coming out with books, to be honest. And then I realized there are more books and I just, I have no interest in continuing on with the series. I liked what I read. I don't think it was bad by any means, but I think there's like five or six books out now. And I'm like, that's just, it's too much for me. I'm good. I'm all right. Hope y'all have fun. Question number eight is what is a new release that you have no interest in reading? I'm going to be honest. I am really bad at keeping up with what the new releases are. Um, for me, if I see a book that is interesting to me, um, that's like on a new release list, I get very like into that book. I'm like excited about new releases coming out. But if there's a book that I'm like not interested in, it doesn't particularly stick out to me. So I don't really have an answer to this. Um, just because like if, if there's a book that I don't want to read, like if it doesn't catch my attention, I'm probably just not going to think about it. There's so many other things to think about, you know? I just, I'm probably not gonna think about it. I hope you all enjoyed this very short little tag. Um, I think it is fun sometimes to talk about things that you don't like or don't want to do, especially because I love to talk about the things that I like to do and enjoy. So it's nice to be able to talk with the flip side sometimes. I have my Instagram link below as well as my Goodreads. I also run a weekly virtual writing called The Writer Zoom. It's every Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I have the link to that Instagram below as well if you're interested in checking that out. And if not, I hope you have a great day and a very good week and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!